Before I burst my bladder. Why are you wake him up? It wouldn't oh. kill his loyal highness to get up at a Christian hour. You think he was the bloody king of England the way you worry about him? Watch your language. Don't that king You want to hurry up now, you'll be late.
not gone yet. It'll be late for your own funeral. No, 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 Bye, ma'am. Bye-bye now, love. Mind yourself. Bye, ma'am. God bless. Be all ready now. All right, I will. <laughs> Dublin's horses must go. In a shock announcement, Seamus O'Riordan, Minister of Transport and Power, today condemned Dublin's famous delivery horses as relics of the dead past. All right. Yeah. You sure you're all right? Yeah, I feel much better now. a normal job like the rest of them. Quack, sir. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, no, thanks. I just had a pot full. Hey, would you ever put some of that stuff on me flowers? Poor plants are dying. Oh, do you need some? Yeah, yeah, of course. Quack, I know it. And you have a grand garden. Let's see now. Mm, right enough. There you are. Thanks very much. You're welcome.
you're lucky you're not killed on the streets. All these damned lurdies in cars all over the place. You're in a dying profession, Quack, sir. Well, I'll tell you, Paddy, as long as there's one horse left, I'll work my own business. Isn't that right, Bess? What do you want to know my name for? I just do. Quaxer. What? Quaxer. Quaxer? That's it. That's it. Quaxer what? Fortune. Is that an Irish name? Which? Quaxer. No, no, that's what they call me. I used to make noises like a duck when I was a baby. being named after a duck. What's wrong with a duck? Nothing's wrong with a duck. My real name is Aloysius. I think I like Quaxer better. So do I. Fresh dung! I want to apologize for the other day. Apologize for what? For nearly ruining your cart. Was that you? I'm afraid it was. I'm sorry. I've got to go. Bye, Quaxer. Listen, Miss Fancy Horse Rider. The next time you won't escape so easy, I'm telling you. Did you know that my real name was Aloysius? Hmm. Lovely. No, no, I'm fine. Didn't you think it was going to pour buckets a few minutes ago? Now it's as fine as can be. Yeah? I thought sure it would be pouring buckets by now. Would you like a bit of brown soda bread? It's in the oven. Oh, no, no, I'm fine. Are you sure you don't want a sweet? I've a bit of cake put away for you. Oh, I couldn't, thanks very much. I couldn't eat another crumb. Did you notice I tried that new raspberry jam you said your sister brought home last Friday? It was good. It was good. But if you ask me, I like the marmalade better. The berry stuff is a little sweet. Hmm. I think you're right. How's your father? Has he got over that steam blast yet? Oh, yeah. It only took him a day to recover. He was wearing his winter <gasps> togs. Well, thank God for that. You know, it could have been serious. Yeah. Do you like me tea, Len Quaxer? I do. I do. I love it. It wasn't too strong this time, was it? No, no. It was good. You don't think I made it too strong? No, it was fine, Betsy. It was fine. Ah, oh, thank goodness. You know, I was afraid I'd put a bit too much of the Turkish blend in it. Well, let's put it this way. It's the kind of stuff you don't fall asleep on. But it was good, Betsy. It was good. I was hoping you'd come along here. What for? Do you have to have a reason? Can I walk with you? 
Then what you want to walk with me for? I just do. May I? very often? Oh, well, I go all around, but this is my favorite place. Have you read Gulliver's Travels? Gulliver's what? <laughs> Travels. Uh, no. No. Well, Jonathan Swift, who wrote Gulliver's Travels, was the Dean of St. Patrick's before he went to London. Didn't you know that you live in one of the most interesting cities in the world? Who said I didn't know? And Handel's Messiah had its world premiere here. Handel's did. I didn't know that. You know a lot, don't you? I've lived in Dublin all my life. I never heard so much stuff about the place. Well, you don't have to know about it. You're living here. I was going to ask. Yes? I do. Crusts and bread, don't you? Well, goodbye, Quaxer. You're going? I think I should. Did I say something wrong? No. So what are you going so fast for? Would you like a bite? Thank you. Why don't you come up to Carveners with me for a drink? That's what I was going to ask you. Okay. Sure, okay. You will? Sure. That's it. I never work past one o'clock. Uh, would you like a ride? <laughs> In that? Wait a minute. Stand up there. Stand up there. Okay. Excuse me. I'll give you six minutes. Here. I'll just set it over. That's it. Wait a minute. Now sit down here. Careful now. Now put your feet on the side. That's it. Now hold on here. Are you all set? Yep. All right. Come on, Bess. Let's go. Yum, dum, ding, da, dum, dum. That new horseshoe did the trick. Where did he shovel her up? No, where his horse did that. And he didn't win her at the race, Frank. <laughs> what are you having, Crack, sir? Uh, two large bottles. Two large bottles. What's the woman drinking? 
What? What's she going to have? One of them. Uh, it's a awful occupation. He knows. What is? Serving and smelling that stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Well, here's to an unusual man with an unusual job. Who's that? That's you. Me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mike, sir, McGuire would like your permission to talk to the lady. Uh, keep your seats, please. I don't mind standing. This is McGuire. Hello. Madam, if you don't mind me saying so, you've got a great pair of shoes. Well, thank you very much. Not at all, not at all. How is Betsy, Quexa? Fine. I said she was fine. I've been in the business 30 years myself, and those are the finest. Would you mind if I took a closer look? No, yeah, good. <laughs> A them's patented leather. Isn't that it, McGuire? I believe they're alligators. Madam, crocodile skin. Oh, he knows he's leather crack, sir. Coming in the door, I looked at your feet and I thought of the wife. You like feet, don't you, Tom? Me wife would cry if she could just touch them. She loves you, Mrs. McGuire. Ah, that is a beautiful bit of workmanship. Well, I'll tell you, Tom, take a last good look and keep a picture of them in your mind. How's Betsy, crack, sir? <laughs> She's fine. Thanks for asking. Oh, oh uh, give Quaxa and the young lady a drink on me, Tim. Lovely. And uh, don't neglect the other fellas either, Tim. We've <laughs> got a penny. Oh, a great pair of shoes. Yeah, yeah, they're lovely. I noticed them myself. Justice couldn't be done to a better pair of feet. When I was a kid, they used to have horses drawing the milk in my hometown in America. America? Yes, Hartford, Connecticut. Oh, yeah, Connecticut. Connecticut. Do you know Connecticut? No, but I have a cousin in the Bronx. Would I like it in America? My ma says I would. She says the Bronx is a grand place. I don't know. I've never been to the Bronx. You've never been to the Bronx? <laughs> I'm all the way from uh, Connecticut to Dublin. What for? To study at Trinity. Does it cost much? Yeah, it costs quite a bit. Have you learned anything yet? Well, did you know that Dublin is a Danish name? It means Black River. How much they charge you for that? <laughs> We're at my house now. Hey, Craig, sir, where did you pick up the bit of stuff? Craig, sir! That's me, ma. Craig, sir, where the hell were you? I took another way! Well, bye bye now, Mrs. Come on, you can meet me, ma. Ma! Where'd she go? Where you sit down? I want you to meet somebody. Uh, will you come here a minute, Quack, sir? What are you after doing now? Martin, why didn't you tell me you had visitors on your mind? Are you going mad or what? I'm not mad. Going around in this day and age in our bare feet. She must be very poor. It's a long story. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, thank you very much. Thanks, ma. She always wear pajamas in the daytime. She's from America. Oh, I might have known. You don't have to bother. There's nothing. I don't mind. Quite so. Here, take this. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Come here. This isn't for you. I wouldn't drink from that. Oh, take it in and don't break anything. Don't panic, Ma. Here we are. Quite so. My name is Basil. What? I hope you don't mind margarine. I'm afraid I ran out of them. No, that's lovely. Thank you. My name is Basil. Oh, Basil's from America. America. Isn't that right, Basil? Mm -hmm. Is that so now? Won't you sit down? Thank you. Here, ma. <laughs> What's the horse plight like over there? We have a cousin in the Bronx, but he never writes a word about it. In Connecticut? Well, Did you we know have... that Dublin means Black River in Danish, ma? 
Have the horses stopped running like? No, the racetrack, they're still extremely popular there. Sugar. Yes, please, too. But you don't have the horses bringing round the grub. <laughs> no, not really. On holidays, I suppose. No, I'm at university. I'm doing research at Trinity. Research? I want her now to get ever research my son's head for him. Oh. He seems to be blind to everything that passes him on the street. You wouldn't believe the things I heard about Dublin today. No, I'm sure I wouldn't. Tell her, Zazel. Go on. I'm sure your mother's not interested in our conversation. No, no, she would be. Go on, tell her. Would you leave the girl alone, Quack? Tell her, she would. Go on. Well, I told Quack, sir, that Queen Victoria loved the furnishings in Dublin Castle. Mm. Well, it's easy enough to love something when it doesn't belong to you. Would you like a cigarette? <laughs> no, no, thanks. I never touch them. Quack, sir? Oh. Thanks very much. What? I told Zazel thanks very much for the cigarette. You know... Oh, thanks. I don't know how many times I... I passed these places we've seen today, and I never knew a damn thing about who lived where or did what. You go filling his head with all them details, you'll give him a headache. Hmm. It's good for me to know. You can hardly read or write what good will it do, yeah? Only put your brain out to dumb drum. What's dumb drum? It's where they put you when you get light in the head. I'm not that far yet. Day walking around Dublin after horses. Please. And you gave away your shoes to McGuire's wife? Let's have a look at the television. I want to borrow your tie, Dad. 
Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, what? For me, Nick? Well, all right. But now be careful with it. I have to have something to hold me toes up when I go to work in the morning. You don't know what to do. Where are you going, anyway? I have something to do. My God, it's dreadful, must be love. In fact, sir. Watch up. I hope she's worth it. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Do you want to come for a drive in the mountain? What for? Because I borrowed the car especially. Oh, yeah? Don't you like it up there? I don't know. I've never been. Never? No, never. Fantastic out on the open roads. Hmm. Well, do you want to come or don't you? Oh, I don't think so. Why not? Because I'd rather not go with you. Okay.
What are you doing here? I was looking for the library. I'm glad you're here. I'm delighted, really, I am. You are. You still want to drive to the mountains? Do you? It's supposed to be fantastic on the open roads. I gave the car back. We could take the bus. All right, I'll try and borrow it. Wait for me. Where are you going? Be right back. I brought you some flowers. Thank you. That's Heather. Very lovely. Yeah. It's a very common flower. Why don't you come around and sit down? Terrific view. It's We'll go, last it go, and we'll all go together. To pluck wild mountain thyme, all around the blooming header. I learned that in school. Where have they gone? Who? The horses. Down to the Spencer Dock like the rest of them. What for? 
Oh, they shipped the mills from there to the slaughterhouse. Mean then they'll be killed and gone? Hell, you've said it. Dog food or glue? about the horses? Well, where? The horses, all of them. What horses? Delivery. Horses, they're putting a stop to it. Putting a stop to what? Delivering. There'll be no more horses delivering. No more manure. The dung will be all gone. Ma, the horses. I need to put a tea. Sugar tea. The horses are leaving. I know of But so did you. We kept telling you. What's in here? The news of it. It was first in there over a month ago. That's last month. That's yesterday. Go on, read it. And I'll read it for you. The Department of Transport and Power announced plans to switch over to the faster and more modern means, the motor-driven engine, beginning Thursday morning, the 21st of May. That's next Thursday. That's the end of the horses, quick, sir. You can always go to your cousin John in America. standing here waiting for you. All the horses are gone. Did you happen to hear me say that over all the singing? 
that true? Are they really? Yeah, I'm standing here telling you. <laughs> well, I'm... I'm very sorry, but... What do you want me to do about it? You silly bitch. You don't... You don't even really care. God damn you, Quaxter. There are a certain God amount damn. of manners That's that I bitch. expect from a man. Manners? Oh, manners me arse. I don't want any posh and polish. Apparently, I want to talk to you. Quaxter, apparently you don't quite I'm understand. Not, I don't want any answers from you. I didn't come here for answers. Don't be so stupid, Quaxter. I'm not stupid. Well, you're acting very stupid. Now, shut up. Listen to now, me, Quaxter. Up, don't talk to me that Quaxter, way. Quaxter, let talk go Talk to the other fellow that way. Get the one who gave you his motor car. Now, I want to talk to you. Quaxter, you now, are Now, I got something on my mind, and I want to talk to you. Now, I listen to me. I have nothing to say to you, Quaxter. You just listen to me. Oh, it was foolish in the first place, the whole thing. I don't have the right kind of job. No, don't say that. I don't think of you that way. How do you think of me? Come on. I won't work in the foundry. I won't do it. Have you thought of going back to school? School? I'm nearly 30. When I was 13, I was in the fourth class, and they skipped me into the fifth because I was getting too old, and then they let me out. You'll find another job, Quaxer. I know you will. Don't worry. Well, if I can't make my own kind of work, I won't find it. Before, I could follow the horses anywhere in Dublin. I can remember a time when there were so many horses going around Dublin that the flowers used to grow up in the middle of the road. Have you ever thought of going to America? To the Bronx? <laughs> no, not just to the Bronx. Me dancing at Trinity? I'd look funny there. You're the man I want to dance with that night. Yeah, but me dancing at Trinity? Quaxer, it's the last dance of the term before I have to go. Will you come? Well, I will if you're sure. I'm sure. Well, where do I go to? Why don't I meet you at the dance, okay? Because it's formal and I have to get very dressed up. Formal what? Formal dress. But don't worry about that. Just wear a good suit. To dance, you just... Well, that's it. Put a bit more black boot polish on them shoes. I can still see the brown coming through. But you'll be late if you do. Why, what time is it? It's under nine. Under nine? Oh, I'd better run. And thanks for the loan of your bike, Liz. All right. Don't wait up.
of closer. Take that, will you? Even bigger and redder and shinier one. Oh, the gum, just fine for the food, Oh, so my grandfather. Take care of you're doing. Everybody keeps handing me things. You came all that way in the rain. You must be very hungry. Not much. Did you like your dance? Did you? Did you like your dance with me?
don't we go outside and get some fresh air, okay? I got my bike outside. Look, I wasn't talking to you, you bloody fool. Don't talk like that. No, you. Damien, please. Zazel, is this one of your bogmen friends in his Sunday best? <laughs> My God, a tacky penguin. In but he said he was this is ridiculous. Damien, there's no need to either. be rude. But for God's sake, let's get out of here before I lose my temper. Damien, please. You better take your hands off her, mister. Look, I'm sorry. I don't like shit around my girlfriend. <laughs> No, you were fine. Just a bunch of drunks. That's what I'm needing. What? A few more stiff drinks. Let's do that. Nothing's open at this hour. Why don't we try one of the hotels? Do you want to do that? If you think it's all right. I know it's all right. And I'm treating. Okay. Pop up. Wait for me. Ooh! <laughs> I think the bar is closed. Well, then we won't go to the bar. Then where are we going? Well, we can always order from our room, can't we? Do we have a room here? <laughs> no. Two fourteen, please. Uh, what was that number again? Two fourteen. Thank you. Where are we going? 214. What if someone's in there? I haven't figured that out yet. Do me a favor, will you? Take that to the big party upstairs. I'm going to light up a smoke. Wait, you're killing me. I hope it's empty. <laughs> what do you want, this lady? On that table, please, sir. You've got a lovely place here. Dum 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 d
to hell with the cup. And to hell with these brown shoes, too. And to hell with everything between us. That's right. <laughs> to hell with everything between us. And to hell with this Duke's jacket. And to hell with Stark's linen. <laughs> and to hell with bow ties. And to hell with underwear. What are you doing in there? I've always wanted to wash lying down. <laughs> what I want to know is how much you paid for that suit. It was a shilling for the trousers and a shilling for the tail. Two buckets. That's it. <laughs> need now is a rubber duck. Why don't you come in with me? I think I'll wait outside. All right. Ding, 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 bum, 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 bum.
Watch up your trousers. Enduding apprehension, sweet God in heaven, creating a hazardous situation. Looking for him, there was no damage done to city property. It's time. 
Whatever you thought about going off to your cousin John of the Bronx, I'll write to him again this evening. It's a good thing for you, which are forced. And that the judge was a kind man. Me, a plead now, back and for you. Our only son raised to be a shiftless, good for nothing. It's time he taught about the world he lives in. I'm not going to be working the arse off while you take a holiday. Make up your mind to that. It's either the Foundry or America. Again, all your old pals, huh? I don't think so. I came to tell you, I'm off to the Bronx. The Bronx? The Bronx, is it? I always wanted to go to the Bronx. You wanted to be a film star, you know. Yes, still do. Uh, there's no horses in the Bronx, Claxton. But there's plenty of cows. God, you lovely hands, Claxton. <laughs> I've got an aunt in St. Louis. St. Louis? Sure, that's nothing the Bronx. I didn't branch you. You just hell with you know where it was. Ah, you think you know where it was? Yeah. Head of a man. Listen, journey, Quackster. Yeah, boy. You'll be a rich man, Quackster. Yeah, should take me about two weeks. Ah, you're a grand fellow, Quackster. I know it. Well, God bless. God bless. Good luck to you. There's plenty more where this came from.
I'll fax up. You know what to be late the first day. Come on, you'll get used to it. <laughs> Fuck off. You, Mike. Mike, it's me, Clarkson. Clarkson. All I had was some brown bread left and then cold cut. Was it all right? It was fine, Betsy. It was fine. I didn't put too much butter on, did I? I was afraid I put a little bit too much butter on. Oh, God, your lovely hands crack, sir. Are you sure you don't want another cup of tea? Are you listening? Quack, sir. Are you there? I'm here, Bessie. I'm here. You may be 15 years older. But there's none like you, Betsy. Hmm? That's Shubba. And you following the horses. Then it's left. Wasn't the most modern thing for a man like yourself. You knew that, didn't you, Quackster? Betsy. There's nothing more modern than the feelings I have for you at this minute. <laughs> God, you've lovely hands, Quackster. He's coming! He's coming now! Hello, son. Hello, Hello. Quackster. How are you? Over here now and sit down. Yeah, sit in the easy chair. That bit makes you feel comfortable. Now, would you like your tea? Yeah. Good. I didn't get a job. Did you look? No. Where were you? We were looking all over for you. I was up the canal. What are you doing home so early, Dad? Business. Are you all right, son? I'm, I'm fine. God. I'm fine. What's wrong? Nothing wrong. Quack, sir. I've been meaning to tell you. There's no hurry getting my bicycles into the pawn office, just in case you were worrying about it. What's up? You are, son. Do you remember your poor old cousin John in the bank? Oh, I saw a lovely gentleman going to work this morning. For God's sake, would you tell him? Yeah. Your cousin John remembered you in his will. He stipulated on his deathbed that you are to receive the money from the sale of his motor car. He's after leaving you five hundred dollars to do what you like with. Five hundred dollars? That's it. How much is that in real money? Over two hundred. Pound. Two hundred pounds? 
over 200 pounds. Now you can carry out your plans for progress after all, huh? I saw a lovely dress on my way to work this morning. You can even go to America if you want to. One well, only recommendation I have for you, Cratchit, is keep away from pubs for a while. Uh, what are you going to do with the money, anyway? The horses are gone for good. How would you give over talk about horses now? You could buy a new bicycle now, anyway. Quacks, are you all right? I've made up my mind. Oh, don't be rash. What are you going to do? I'm going to buy a motor car. <laughs> Thank you. 